Only enough for two doses. Got to make them count. Initial contact was made with the elderly native male at 0700. At first, we believed he was participating in an assault on the facility, but he proceeded away and through an unmapped canyon. We received authorization to pursue at a distance, and already we've encountered ruins and other promising signs. We're trying to keep calm out here, but this looks like a big find. That discovery bonus is as good as ours. Working, Nadia. Everything looks normal is the wrong word, but nothing like the last time. Good. I've made my own antidote and enough for Grandpa if we find him. I'm on my way to meet you now. Scarecrows, of course. Lost in here. It's all wrong. Lost the old man entering the veil. Lost Fisher. Lost Parker. Just gone. No trace. <sighs> Can't trust the eyes. Seeing things. Corpses. Worse. Things that walk. So huge they hide the stars. <sighs> Can't tell what's real. Not sure there is a real. Is it the eyes? The eyes have to go. My hands are steady now. Billings goes first. Stop! Hold still! Nadia, what do you know about these ruins out here? Even before the witch made her home there, our people avoided the veil. The Founders were building a shrine out there, but something <clears throat> happened to them. None of us have been in there in generations. Be careful. Even if your visions weren't real, that place is still deadly. Oil on the ground. There's your magic fire. on the first of the ruins now. This doesn't look like a shrine. This was something functional. I see ropes and wooden gears. The founders built lifts elsewhere in the valley to move people or supplies between the peaks, but they've all fallen apart now. That has got to be what it is. See if you can make your way up to the top. I'll be right there. I'm in the canyon now. I'll let you know when I've arrived.
It is my great honor to have been given the responsibility of overseeing the construction of a shrine to the Apostles, out in the Far Vale. The site is on the very borders of our newly founded city, through a distant canyon. The natural waterfalls and geothermal springs grant us an amazing opportunity to use our combined knowledge to create a place of solemn worship and reflection that glorifies not only the memory of the Apostles, but also our own recent advances in construction. Already we have outpaced the empire we left behind. We will arrive in the morning and break ground on a shrine to honor our past and the future of our city. Maybe I can use one of these ropes to get back up.
Got to run. just kept the lift running all this time. It looks like she even made a few improvements, but I don't think those ropes will survive many more trips. It only needs to make one. Two. I'd like to come back down. Eventually. <sighs> Try pulling that lever over on the platform. Maybe it'll get us moving. Your witch is clever. Everything in this veil is arranged to perpetuate the myth of Baba Yaga, and the pollen does the rest. The last time I saw the lift, it looked nothing like this. What did you see? Just as the legend says, a house walking on giant bird legs. But without the pollen, it's just an old contraption. I'm sorry. I was so sure of Grandpa's story. She's Russian, someone who knew the myth well. Nadia, it's possible that your grandfather will know who she is. He was a prisoner in the Gulag, you said. I didn't say that. Not exactly. Grandpa was a guard. My grandmother was the prisoner. She was a brilliant scientist, and they brought her out to the Vale to help study something in the ruins. But then the witch came. Grandpa never forgave himself. Killing the witch won't bring her back, but I understand. Let's just hope we can reach him in time.
Nadia, come quick. No. Nadia? How? Uh, it's the pollen. Here, let me. Grandpa, can you hear me? I tried. I couldn't save her. I tried. Shh, it's okay now. I'll stay with Honora. It's time. You only have one more dose remaining. Make it count. When the guilt of working in the gulag became too strong, I would lash out. A stolen screwdriver, misplaced paperwork, futile gestures that would never balance the scales. One day, I was caught taking a stupid risk. Your grandmother, Serafima, she spoke up, took the blame. They beat her, mercilessly. But I was saved. When I found a moment to thank her, she spat at my feet told me I had risked my life for nothing, challenged me to do more. You have so much of her in you, Nadia. At first, I thought her cruel. She gave me no credit for my little acts of disobedience. That place, the gulag, it, it crushed hope and ate what little scraps of dignity remained. Every day I did not fight it with my whole heart, she said. I was complicit in atrocity. She demanded my honesty because she knew I was capable. It was the greatest kindness anyone had ever shown me, and I loved her for it. She has to be inside. This is it. been her at the margins in the dark always there she she is what we came here for we just didn't know it until now she is the center of the world she can make the fog swirl and choke our minds she can give us clarity she spoke her